Welcome to Hometown Homepages, the series where we give small business websites a much needed facelift using my favorite website builder, Webflow. I'm Maddie, and in this season, we're making over homepages from my town, Littleton, Colorado. This is episode four, Old Crow Antiques. People who know me in real life know that antiquing and thrifting is one of my favorite things to do on the weekend. It's so much fun. It's just like a little treasure hunt. And this is my favorite place to do that in Colorado. It is huge. There's so much to go through. We spend hours here every time we come. And they have root beer floats. Like you seriously can't beat that. But I will tell you that I was not expecting this place to be as good as it is based on their website. You guys agreed. Only 15% of the 82 people I surveyed were interested in checking this place out, 65% weren't interested at all, and the other 20% were indifferent. Honestly, I think this type of site is really common for an antique mall or a similar type of business, but I also know there's a lot we can do to make it better and improve the first impression of this homepage. Here's some inspiration that I pulled for this redesign. I specifically like this kind of grid look. I think we can do something really cool with that. And I totally understand that businesses like this, they can't catalog their products um, of their website and keep it like completely up to date. But that doesn't mean that they can't show examples of the type of products that they have in store to give customers an idea of what they'll see if they come in. So I went ahead and sketched out what I'm thinking for this. I wanna keep this one simple, but like I said, I really like this grid style um, where we can kind of match up pictures with text where maybe it almost looks like an encyclopedia or a diagram or something. I don't know. I think it will come to life and look really cool. So let's dive into Figma. So let's just create a grid here and figure out exactly what size makes sense for, um, you know, this website. scatter the images and the text to make it seem kind of random but also kind of balanced. All right, I found these images from Unsplash, but I think they actually represent types of things that you can find at Old Crow. I've been there a million times and they have so much stuff. So I think these work really well. All right, I'm loving this. The only thing that I wanna do is update the logo, so I'm gonna do that quick. And also, I'm wondering if it needs a little something more. I really like this little illustration here, and I'm wondering if we could actually incorporate more of those. So I'm gonna go on a hunt and see what I can find. All right, here is the final logo. I was super inspired by this inspiration picture and I think this works really well. It's simple, we don't need to spend too much time on the logo. And then I also found on Creative Market someone who sells these cool like scanned illustrations. So I decided to incorporate more of those and I think it looks really fun. So let's get building. All right, let me get the header out of the way and then we'll tackle this grid because this is definitely a layout that I have not tackled before, so it might be a little tricky. Okay, I think I figured it out, so Basically, what I need to do is do it one row at a time. So we can give this first one 2FR since it is going to be the one with the image and it want, it, we want it to be double the size of a normal box and then the rest 1FR. So now I just have to duplicate this and like copy the layout that I want and then we'll figure out how to add in the content.
Okay, so it's kind of hard to see because the lines are super light, but I have the layout down. All I did was created different rows um, with different like grid orientations and I made sure to name them differently um, so that, yeah, they could basically exist as their own sections and yeah. So then I also put a grid box um, or I put a div into each one and gave that a border. But now I need to have another type of div that has an image instead of the border. So I'm just going to take this grid box and actually get rid of the tag and name it image um, or image, maybe like grid image instead. So now any div that's called grid image will just like fill with whatever image I choose. So let's see if this works like I think it's gonna. Okay, this is looking so good. I'm actually very proud of myself for figuring this out. Honestly, Webflow, like it's tricky, but once you kind of get, you know, how it works, you can do so much with it, which I just think is cool. So anyway, now that I've gotten the hang of it, I know what I need to do for the text. I am just going to create a new tag called, um, let's just call it text box. So now when I add that text box tag to anything, um, we can kind of duplicate this out. So first, what I want to do is actually create what that's going to be like. So let's add in. OK, so we have a heading. Oh, yeah, here's what we want to add in. OK, so this heading and it will just say antiques for this one. Hmm. So it looks like this grid box. There we go. Okay. So we had grid, we had like a grid within a grid, which is not what we wanted. Okay. So we figured this out. Now I'm just going to add the text. Okay. And then we want it to sit actually at the bottom and then we want to just add a little bit of padding here. Sometimes I won't follow my designs to a T. Um, because once I see kind of what it looks like in the actual preview, then that's more true to what it will look like on the web. So perfect. So now let's see what happens when we add this tag. Okay, now we have all of the text in the right place. And now I am just going to add in these kind of little details. So I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with the images, but um, I'm just going to have it called something else. Maybe I'll call it illustrations because they're gonna be oriented differently. Like we just want it small and centered within the box. Okay, just put the finishing touches on the footer and here is the final homepage. This is definitely my favorite design and build so far. I think it came out so clean, kind of vintage, kind of modern, and I just think it is really fun, especially for a one day project. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and stay in the loop about the rest of this series. Next week, we're gonna be redoing the homepage for Graceful Cafe, which is a cafe here in town with a really great mission. So I'll see you then, bye.